same sweatshirt, another box. <laughs> so in this video, I'm going to be opening the um, Sugar Muses, Midnight Muses box for November 2020. And again, don't hate me. This is one that I kind of peeked in and looked at some stuff. Um, but again, it was like over a week ago. I don't really remember what's in it. So it's kind of still a surprise. So let's dive right in. So open it up. It's got this uh, stars little tissue paper that's so pretty that I'll probably keep. All right. Got our paper. Uh, the theme is manifesting through gratitude. And again, I didn't read the paperwork, so I don't really know much about like the stuff in the box. And again, I, I freaking don't remember what's in here. All right, so the month of November brings thoughts of family traditions, more time spent at home, and of Thanksgiving. Although this year's celebrations might be different from the ones we are accustomed to, it is important not to lose sight of the big picture, to keep hope in our hearts, and to be grateful for what we do, what we do have. Having a roof over our head, a healthy body, good friends, and food to eat are blessings to always be thankful for. This does not mean we are settling. We are simply utilizing ancient universal laws to multiply our bounty. When we focus on what we are lacking, that is what we attract more of. When we focus on all that we do have, we align ourselves with receiving more. Our thoughts hold immense power and we attract whatever it is we focus on and what we believe is true. Gratitude is one of the key secrets of manifestation. Along with clear visualization, positivity and raising directing energy effectively. I have a deep appreciation for the absolute power of gratitude as part of the spellcrafting and manifesting practice. In honor of Thanksgiving, this month we combine gratitude and intention to create a powerful manifesting ritual. Okay, so the, oh, maybe that's what they're saying. The watermark on this month's paperwork is the universal symbol for gratitude. The infinite loops stand for the lasting appreciation of life. Um, okay, maybe that's, maybe that's the background there. Those look like moons though. I'm not sure what she's talking about. There's also that on my card, uh, on my Oracle card that I got. So maybe she's talking about that. Oh, I'm crazy. She's talking about this those loops. <laughs> uh, I don't know what's going on. Okay. Um, similar to, symbols are keys to universal doors passing through the conscious to the superconscious to embodying powers of nature. Gratitude is the master key opening passage for opportunity, abundance, and manifestation. It says from gogratitude.com. I guess that's a nice website for maybe us to visit. The items in this month's box may be used in the order they are listed or used separately as you're called to do so. They are curated to help inspire you on your journey. If you like the option of a guided ritual, I've outlined one below with this stuff in the box. Okay, um, let's see. We've got the gratitude incense sticks. Don't know what that smells like. It just says, this cleansing incense blend is used for purification, healing, and protection. Allow the smoke to cleanse your space and alter items. Okay. And then we've got um, our herbs and casting salts. Let's see what we've got. So we've got um, casting salts. See that? And then we have an incense blend. It's got some yummies in there. And yarrow. Cool. I love these. I love them so much. They're so cute. Okay. Let's see what it has to say. Uh, casting salts. Salts offer protective properties and can clear the energy around your altar. Place salts in a dish to absorb negative energy or sprinkle around your sacred space. They can be used in a ritual bath to absorb unwanted energy and also be used for banishing. Use a matchstick or a toothpick if needed to loosen the salts, blah, 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 blah. Okay, um, let me see if she says anything about the, okay. 
Okay, so the magical properties of yarrow include protection, love, healing, and courage. She kind of includes using them in the um, in the ritual. The manifesting incense blend can be burned, sprinkled in a bowl, and left as an offering on your altar, or added to spell bags and charms. The combination of mint, five finger grass, rosemary, bay, and sage from my god from her garden is blended to help manifest your magical intent. So that's those. Okay, and then let's see. I'm trying to go down the thing here so I can exactly. Okay, so we have our um, it says manifestation ritual oil. It has a lovely, almost like a, a gibbous moon on it. Mmm. I don't know what that smells like. It smells a little fruity. All right. Anoint your pulse points. Anointing oils are a powerful means of dedicating yourself or your magical components with energies correspondent to your intent. This perfume oil blend contains lemon, peppermint, juniper, and cedarwood essential oils and an almond base. I don't know that I would have guessed that. It smells amazing. And of course it says, you know, oils can be used to anoint candles, spell items, altar tools, um, and also worn as perfume. All right, and then we've got a gratitude candle with that same give us looking moon. Oh my God, if I can open it, it's in a tin. There we go. Ooh, it's sparkly. Oh, that's pretty. I don't know if it has a scent or not. Let's see what it says. This organic soy candle was hand poured with intention and spell crafted with, oh it does, lemon, rose, vetiver, and sandalwood essential oils, rose petals, calendula, mugwort, rosemary, and chrysanthemums. Awesome. All right, and then we've got in this cute little organza bag, one of my favorite crystals, citrine. I'm obsessed. So I found out this is new and I can't remember if I read it or if it was in my crystals course that I'm taking, but if you leave amethyst outside in the sunlight for, I don't know, a certain amount of time, or, or if it's actually, I think it's, if it's heat, if it's uh, heat treated, God, sorry, my thing keeps hitting. Um, if it's heat treated, it turns into citrine. So when you have that um, crystal that's, it's called ametrine, it's amethyst with citrine. So that's kind of like the middle road. So interesting fact, if y'all didn't know that. So there's my pretty citrine, love citrine. Really good for um, like su success spells. Um, I have brought it with me to like job interviews, stuff like that, or uh, even money manifestation spells. Let's see if it says anything. It talks about using it in the um, in the ritual. It says this crystal is most commonly utilized in manifestation and is associated with joy and success. Citrine works towards your goals of manifesting success through the energy of the sacral and solar plexus chakras, boosting personal power and the ability to move forward towards achieving your desires, bringing the spiritual plane into the physical plane. Other metaphysical properties of citrine include clarity, focus, and aiding with creativity and inspiration. I love, love, love it. It, to me, it's it's the personification of the sun. You know what I mean? Like it's just so bright and it puts me in such a happy mood. So this is one of my favorites. And it's not purple, if you guys can believe that. <laughs> All right, let's see what we've got next. Oh. Should be a candle in here somewhere. Oh, I forgot about this little, it's a little gold baby rose candle. My grandma's rosemary. Okay, Let's see if it says something. It just says gently float the gold rose candle in, I guess it has you doing some things with water in the beginning of this ritual and light it. 
All right, it doesn't say, it just talks about the ritual with this. So again, I kind of feel like um, saving the ritual aspect for those that, um, that subscribe, it's only right. Um, and I don't want to ruin it. If you already subscribed and you just wanted a sneak peek. So if you got this box, you'll be getting to do this. A uh, little ritual that she's got for us. All right. Incense blend. Oh, I already talked about that. That was the, uh, in the little jar. Ooh. I just told my boyfriend that we did get some tea. Where'd it go? Cinnamon apricot tea. I'm actually gonna open this. I never, I never opened it. I'm gonna smell it. This has gotta be so good. I do enjoy cinnamon in my tea. Mmm. Ah, oh, it smells good. This is such a good like fall, winter tea smell. Let's see if she says anything. I don't think she does. I think she just says. Um, she doesn't really say anything about the tea, but obviously it says cinnamon, apricot, organic tea. It says miracle petals, cinnamon, apricot pieces, and fruit flavor, caffeine free. All right, maybe me and the man will have uh, some tea later. Okay, and then we have some mugwort. And this says visions, divination, and protection. I'm gonna open it and smell it because we might as well. My allergies are already acting up. All right, smells like earth. I'm sure I've smelled mugwort before. I have mugwort, anyways. Um, this much month's featured herb is organic mugwort. Mugwort is a member of the genus Artemisia, a group of plants named for the Greek goddess of the moon. Magical associations include scrying, prophecy, safe travel, lunar magic, prophetic dreams, astral projection, love, protection, consecration of tools, and purification. Mugwort encourages wisdom and observation. When paired with a div divinatory method of your choice, mugwort is an excellent, excellent helper for confronting hidden truths. Place them near the front door to prevent evil from entering I'm gonna do that. Um, place near the bed. Mugwort is said to aid in astral projection. I'm not sure that I want to do that. Um, I actually think that I I used to astral project when I was a kid. Um, I remember certain things. And um, anyways, maybe another another time. I'll tell you about that. Where'd we go? Astral projection. Sleeping on a pillow or sachet stuff with mugwort with jasmine and lavender brings clear and prophetic dreams. Oh, that's fun. Burn mugwort over a charcoal as a divinatory and purifying incense. As a compress, it is said to speed healing and lessens the healing time of bruises. Oh my God, I have so many bruises from moving. <laughs> like my legs look ridiculous. It looks like somebody's beat me up. Like a, a small child or a elf or something has been down there punching my legs. Um, although I'm not that tall. I'm like 5'4". Use with caution. It should never be used by pregnant women. That's not happening. Or people with underlying medical conditions. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. We got our mugwort. Um, and then this is our mugwort artwork that I'll be putting with the rest of my um, my herbal artwork in my grimoire. There's that. I don't know if they say anything. Mugwort art print by Christy. Created exclusively for this month's box. This art print can be added to your book of shadows or journal. Blur to blur. Um, did I have something? I don't know. You know what? I never did open this. We'll get to this. Um, 
This says something about gratitude art print. I don't know if this is it. It just says Midnight Muses at the top, and then it says manifestation works with a universal rule, which dictates that thoughts can become things. Your thoughts hold immense power and you attract whatever it is you focus on and what you believe is true. Like attracts like. If you're having trouble manifesting, it can very often be because your thoughts tend to be rooted in negativity, even if you're unaware of it. To manifest magic, start by being more conscious of what you're grateful for. Start with a gratitude journal that you, okay, I guess this is gratitude artwork. Start with a gratitude journal that you use daily and by focusing on one thing you're extra thankful for before you fall asleep each night. Soon you will be attracting more of it. Next, start noticing when you have negative thoughts and learn to replace them with positive thoughts. Focus on what makes you feel happy and what sets your soul on fire. Soon you will be attracting more of it. Manifestation using gratitude is a magical way of getting what you want and the easiest and most powerful way to do that is to feel it. So there's that, and it has those moons again, if you guys can see. And you can almost guess what's next in the box. Well, here's our tea bag. Here is their um, little thing. Let's open our um, Oracle card. Okay, so if you guys watched me open the, um, <laughs> if you guys watched me, um, Sorry, I was getting a text message from my boss. I'm gonna have to see what that says in just a minute because it looked like I was gonna get an extra bonus um, because I keep working all these hours. <laughs> okay, so if you saw me open the deluxe box, this is from the same deck. So um, in the deluxe box, I got King of Cups. Now I get Queen of Pentacles, which is funny because I actually feel like, um, well, whatever. I mean, you don't have to say that the queen is a female, you know, it can be a male, but anyways, I always say that my, my boyfriend is the king of pentacles and I am like the queen of cups <laughs> or I'm kind of the queen of wands too a bit. I don't know. I kind of, I'm, I'm all the queens except for that damn pinnacle one because I have no earth in my chart. But anyways, so this was, what is the name of the it is the tarot black and gold, which is the with the original artwork by Pamela Coleman Smith from the uh, Rider Waite Smith deck. So it's just in this gold, and then there's the back of it. So this will go with my other card, and I only have this left. So they gave us a gratitude journal, which is great actually. Um, I think I have that upside down. There it is. So it's got this gold little thing around it. And it's just like lined paper. Nothing super special, but um, this is great because in my coven, we were talking about starting a gratitude journal. So this came right on time. Um, I love journals. I love notebooks. I'm kind of a dork that way. So um, this is gonna be being used here pretty soon. Let me see if I can Gratitude journal. You may wish to continue writing in your journal before falling asleep each night. Try focusing on one thing you are extra thankful for and soon you'll be attracting more of it. I don't know if it says anything else about it. I guess it doesn't. I guess that's it. Okay, so this is the uh, Midnight Muses box for November 2020. I appreciate you guys taking a look. I will link the company below if you're interested in this box. And you can also follow me on Instagram, which will also be below. Um, I'd appreciate a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe to me. Hit the little bell so you don't miss any of my videos. Um, I appreciate y'all. Have a great day. Mm -hmm.